Hey gamers, welcome to another DSP video. DSP announced that he wants to hit the $50 tip goal every day. Just get $50 a day and he'll be happy. He also wants to get 600 members by the end of the week. Now, when he announced this, he also told us, I'm not e-begging. This isn't me e-begging, guys. I didn't tell you guys to put your money on the table and for me to take it. I'm not asking for this. The way that DSB defines e-begging is literally just saying, give me money. I need money right now. Give me money. And this and that. And sure, by that definition, he isn't literally e-begging. But he doesn't seem to understand that it could be interpreted as begging how he's discussing support and why he needs support and all this other stuff. Because I've never heard a streamer bring up how their past streams have performed financially as much as DSB has. It's one thing to say, guys, if you want to support the stream, uh, super chat, tip, become a member are all great ways. All right. And another to do what he's doing, especially to this degree, to even go as far as announce a, a uh, overarching goal for your streams financially is insane. Because he's telling us that he wants to get $50 a day. Now, if you look at what he's asking and what he wants, does that mean if he gets $150, let's say, does that mean that he's going to be covered for, like, the next few days? Because that's, like, what, man? It's, like, three fifty dollars So he should be good for three days or two days or three days. Three days pretty much, right? If he gets that. He got... He actually got $150 the day after, so he should be good that day, the next day, and the day after that. And also, he should be good for the, the other two days because he got like $60 on the daytime stream and $50 on Friday night fights of that announcement. So he should be good for like a good week with that amount of money. No. DSP told us every pre-stream, or podcast I should say, after the fact, to say, guys, I'm trying to get $50 a day a stream. But you got multiple 50s over the course of that time. He also uses Mortal Kombat as a way to get you to tip, which is just insane. Think about it. He got a refund from when he first bought Mortal Kombat 1 to buy the Deluxe Edition. Now, if you think about it, sure, on the receipt, it's going to be $100, man. Factually, sure. But he got $70 back from that refund that's going to go back into Mortal Kombat 1 for the Deluxe Edition. So he really needed, like, what, 30 to $40 to get the uh, upgraded version? He already got the money for that by the by that Saturday. So he got 150 at, on that stream alone. He could afford Mortal Kombat 1 even if he didn't get the refund. But he got the refund, so he doesn't need more than $100 to get it. But he wants you to think that because... This is all a, a way for him to mentally abuse the audience. And that's what a lot of people have a problem with, with DSP, is that he mentally abuses his audience. He mentally abuses them, verbally abuses them, because he takes them for granted. He tells you every day how, oh, all these people take me for granted. Don't take my content for granted, man. But he gets all this support, and he takes the support for granted. Like, I keep bringing up the Team Michael Gamer memberships that he, that he got last year, all of that, he went to the Xbox Series S for Cat, and all of that, you know, he sat on, went away, and he burned through it. And he didn't think about, huh, I'm not, I may not get this kind of support ever again. I should, like, save this up for, like, emergencies or for my business. No, he spends it on his, on his wife, which, sure, you could argue, well, Theo, it's his wife, you know. He, he should get something nice for his wife. Yeah, but a dude who goes on and on about how he how he's so financially tight like at some point he needs to be more responsible with with what gifts he gets because if cat truly loves phil correct he doesn't need to buy her a 300 hundred dollar gaming console to show his love just saying but uh even that aside he spent that money on frivolous things anyway and if you look at just recently i you start to notice the frivolous spending has slowly started to creep back up into, into the Phil sphere. He wasted money on buying a, another fight stick for the PlayStation, which he doesn't really need, and he went to buy a game a second time. He has wasted money in the past. As much as he tells us, I'm saving so much money. Remember, 
the whole point that he bought Street Fighter 6 on Xbox and all this stuff he wants to convert, he wanted to convert to Xbox was because he wanted to save money on the multiplayer online sub subsurface. But he bought, he's going to now be paying for Xbox Live and for uh, PlayStation Plus. So where was this saving the money talk now? It's all gone because he's going to be buying both games on both platforms now or whatever the fuck. So it's really fucking bizarre that he is now going, continuing to going back on these frivolous spending habits. And now he wants you to spend $50. And whenever a DSP does this, he wants to act as if him acting, him asking for $50 a day is doing you a favor. He's that guy. He wants to do something and he wants you to think that he's doing you a favor. I know there's a Fargo quote about it, but I can't remember it. But you know, you know, he's that guy. He wants, he's acting as if he's doing you a favor by asking for $50 a day. And the moment he asked for that, he has gone over that amount. Now, if you look at the history of when he gets these big, these big amounts, they always level back down to $50. And then it might go even lower now because usually once it lowers to a certain point, it always defaults to that at some point. So it always goes back to whatever is the new normal for him. It is insane. Now, the memberships is a complete nonsense. This whole thing is nonsense because once you remember that he told you back when he went back to YouTube that he wants to make up the income that he lost on Twitch, you realize what he's really going after with his 600 members. He's going to increase it to 700 at some point, and then it's going to be 800, then 900, then 1,000. Yeah, naturally, you're going to always want to grow your members and your subs, but I've never seen anyone be this thirsty for subs or memberships and give literally nothing in return. What do you really get from becoming a member on DSP Gaming? The occasional voting for a gaming marathon that is it there's nothing else there's more value in the dsp reacts membership and even that i would argue there's no value this dude puts out such garbage content and then has the gall to act as if he's doing you a favor by giving such attainable goals but if he gets 150 dollars shouldn't he be covered for a couple few days and not ask for for you to pay the 50 dollar tip goal then but no, no, that money is spent that day, okay? So don't think about it. Shh, shut up. And don't think about the YouTube paycheck that's coming in a few weeks from for August performance. Don't think about that. But now we can think about the October performance. But don't think about it, the September performance. Once October hits, don't think about it. Then think about October's performance. But once it's November, don't think about it. Because again and again and again and dsv proves my point for me youtube revenue is nothing but memory hole money he wants you to think about it when he wants you to and then the moment that the paycheck's coming around the corner he, you do he does not want you to think about it don't think about the amount he's gonna get don't think about it Shh. don't don't even dare question it but think about the one about the the paycheck today that you could be giving me in next month and that's the fun of it because he did this on twitch a lot where he would tell you oh once they get here oh we just need to make it through july oh if i make it through july it'd be great oh i'll be so good it'd be solid get us through july i just need to make it to august i need to make it to august man then we'll be good again so it's another form of a string and carrot that he wants to dangle in front of you because notice when he wanted the 600 members by the end of the streaming week, he never said that he wants to hit, he wants to, he wants to maintain that and go a little bit above it. He never said that because once he hits it, he said, well, if it goes down, we have to hit it again or any of that. And it's very obvious. He just wants to keep dragging these people out and giving them to keep coming back. Usually when a game, a movie, a studio or whatever wants to give you this kind of loop to keep going back to their property, 
they always give you something to get to get you hooked. You play a game like a live service game, like a Street Fighter or whatever. They want you to get hooked onto something. That's why you have battle passes and games now. That's why you have these little fun gameplay loops. That's like roguelikes are kind of getting more more and more traction for free to play games in a sense because they give you more incentive to play and more sense incentive to to pay and all this kind of stuff. But they give you something in in reward of that grind. But DSP wants that model, but wants to give you nothing in return. The return is the content. The content is the return. But you could also give him nothing and get the same content, though. It's like really giving you a completed video game that has no nothing in it. It's just a solid game. It's great. It's fun. But there's no monetization features, no life service features, nothing. And it's a free-to-play game. How is that... Uh, financially feasible for that company to put out. It's not. That's why you'd never see a free-to-play game have zero monetization options because it's not it's not feasible. Yet DSP wants to have that that structure and give you nothing and brag about that. But if that's the case, that he wants to brag that he has that structure, but he's not paywalling anything that you'd want. Sure, that's great and all, but when you start lev leveraging, I need this amount of money, you can't, you can't have that model. You can't tell you, he can't tell you to give me money for nothing and, and think that's feasible to that degree. Because as I said, if you just said, hey, if you want to support me, support me these ways. All right, that's it. Then that's, that's, that's one thing. But he goes so far that it's a little much. So... That is all I wanted, I wanted to bring up because, honestly, DSP has been manipulative to, towards his audience and it's, it's going to continue because his audience enables this, you know, and it, it really shows how, how ungrateful DSP really is because he sits there, gets all the support. His audience believes him and they take him at his word and he doesn't care. He factually doesn't care because who does he talk about the most? The trolls! The trolls, they don't give me my props, man. But they're not supporting you, DSP. The people who give you money are the ones that support you. The people that show up to your streams and don't get banned and all this stuff. They are there for you. Why don't you just focus on that? It's always about what the trolls say. I did a video, I, I talked about this in the Daily Rep, but the troll said this and that. Why should that matter to you? All right. That's it for this video. I've, I've gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a fun one. Hope you learned. We all learned. And I uh, hope to see you when I see you. Bye-bye.